Hey everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Brogue. This is honestly one of the prettiest roguelikes I've ever played. Oh, um, apparently those buttons don't work for movement. That's weird. But yeah, seriously, this is a gorgeous game. I really love how just colorful and pretty everything is. It's, um, as you can see, it's ASCII, and it doesn't have... As far as I know, it doesn't even have the option for a graphical tile set, like my last two games have. Hey, we have a monkey. I'm not sure how well it will rec record, though, because of just how much goes on on the screen at any given time. There's seriously a lot of work done just to make this as pretty as it can possibly be in ASCII. Oop, I fell into the water. like it's running kind of slow. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a rat following me. Oops. Come on, little monkey friend. Oh. <clears throat> I really do love ASCII graphics, and while, like, personally I tend to prefer simple graphics, this is on- this is really, like, this is by far the prettiest roguelike I've ever played, and that's including like fully animated things like Dungeons of Dreadmore. It's just, I don't know, I find it amazing how much they managed to do with this. As usual, I'll um, put a link to where you can get the game in the description below the video. Um, if you haven't played this game, it might actually be a little bit more difficult to figure out what's going on. Just because... Uh, it's not as simple, the interface, as um, most roguelikes I've played. Like, even just in here, it's got, what, three different floor tiles. Plus uh, these thickets or foliage things here, which actually get crushed underfoot if you walk over them, which I really love. And they regrow, as you saw there. I hope it records well. It should record better than Dwarf Fortress did, but even that, it's not saying that much. Um, this here, I broke a seed pod of some sort, and it expels a healing gas, which is that red cloud that you see. Um, no, did not mean to do that. This game does actually have mouse support too, but um, as you may have noticed, as you probably noticed, my mouse is extremely loud, and I don't like using it in recording because of how loud it is, and I can't really cut it out without desyncing everything because of my setup. Like, set everything? Oh, there is an auto-explore button. I just pointed at the fucking screen like an idiot. But there is an auto-explore button. I tend not to use it until I'm almost done with the floor, and then I'll just use it to, like, fill out anything that I missed. Where is that kobold? I don't see him. Guess he went out of view. Where is he? Oh, he's way over there. Okay. I don't really care about him. He can stay where he is. I'm just gonna go down to the next floor. One thing I really like about this too is the dungeon is that is the design of the dungeon. It's more like a natural cave structure. Where you have these natural bodies of water and chasms like this. Like these tiles here are chasm. And here is just regular water. And you can actually swim through the water, but you your stuff will actually will um float away if you do so. And here it's um this blue is because there's sunlight streaming through. And actually, if you look down at the bottom um, here, it tells you like some flavor things, like you know the grass, like fungus crunches underfoot, stuff like that. And your character model actually changes. If you're in the light, you'll be like yellow or white. 
And if you're in the shadows, you'll be a darker blue. And that does actually matter because being in the shadows affects your stealth. And if you're trying to sneak up on someone being out in a well-lit area like this doesn't really help. But if you're in the shadows, they're much less likely to notice you. I've got a lot of scrolls, I think. Yeah, I'm just... I like to read some of the scrolls just randomly. You never really know what you'll find. And I like to get them out of the way early just so I can be confident in what I'm doing later. Protective light. Okay, so scroll protect armor. But okay, move curse is good. Teleportation. That's awkward. Didn't hurt too badly though, so it's not so bad. Monkeys will actually steal things from you if you give them the opportunity. That's enemy monkeys. You can get monkeys as like allies too, like we did on the first floor. And he should be around here somewhere. I'm not sure what happened to him. Yeah, there he is. He won't steal anything from anyone. He'll just attack enemies. What is this? A Negatron charm? I don't actually know what that does. On the gate, all magical. F oh, it's a charm that casts negate. Okay. And you feel the view and items on the ground and recharge in 900 turns. That's not bad. That's actually really useful for some enemies because a lot of enemies, if you negate them, the things that make them actually dangerous are taken away. Like vampires, for example, are a real problem later on. But if you can negate them, they're a lot less problematical. And dragons can't even breathe fire negated if I remember correctly. Which I may not, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Those healing pods are really nice. I think they become more rare on the later floors because I don't remember seeing them after floor like five or six very often. But I developed a bond with my monkey. Cool. I have three scrolls of Chlorop Herbipora, so F. Scroll of Enchantment. Okay, um, I've already enhanced my leather armor once, right? So, actually I think I'll enchant that charm. Because it'll... I think it recharges faster, Enchanted. Okay, kill the monkey. Did I lose my food ration? You start off with a food ration by default, but I don't seem to have it anymore. So yeah, I guess a monkey stole it. Because I know I didn't eat it. I'm pretty sure I didn't eat it, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Because, yeah, so my food ration was stolen, I guess. Yeah, that's my friendly monkey. So, is that everything? Looks like it might be. can tap X to... Yep, that's everything. And you can fast travel to the staircases, too, which is something I actually use a lot more often than the um, Auto Explorer, because it's just easier when you've cleared out of Florida. Oh, thank you, monkey. Ooh, treasure room. I think I have a school of identify. Yeah, I have two of them. So I'm going to identify that ring before I put it on. Ring of clairvoyance. That's pretty good. Let you um see monsters from 
it lets you see across walls. Like you see standing here, I can see these squares right here, those floor tiles. That's the reason clairvoyance working. It's not a huge benefit, but it's something. And if you're on a floor that's really dangerous, it can save your ass by warning you ahead of time that there's a, you know, giant monster behind you. So it's definitely worth having. I'm gonna actually enchant it later on. If if I survive to later on, that is. You know, you know I'm bad at these games, so. No guarantees that later on is a thing that I will have. I think there's a seed pod in the room to our left. Yeah, there is. I can see its shadow off the map. So I'm gonna run over there and heal up a bit. Next floor is when these um caustic gas enemies that I really hate dealing with show up. And I'll explain them when we actually come across them, but they're just really obnoxious. I don't like them. Nope, they show up on this floor. Wonderful. That B there, it's a uh, monster that will actually burst into a caustic gas, which is a problem. And they fly, so if you like jump down a pit or something to escape them, it will actually backfire pretty badly. But, yeah. See, this is what I mean. Luckily there's a healing pod here, or a healing seed pod here, that I can just sort of relax in. But now I think that gas is going to be out there for a little while still. Yeah. So let's rest here for 100 turns, that should clear it out. Good. There's another variation of those enemies that I think shows up on this floor too, or from this floor down. Only when you kill them, instead of exploding into a gas, they explode into chasms. That is, the floor below them and you, if you're close to them, disappears and you'll just drop straight through. And then the hole closes back up eventually. I have a door key. Oh. Wonderful. It was trapped with paralytic gas. Come on, monkey. Run away. Or not, or you can just slaughter rats for me. That's fine too. Uh, oh, that's the gas vent. I thought it was a ring or something. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Seems like I am not wanted there. Getting kind of hungry. Wish I had food. Shit, there's another one. Well. Honestly, if you can avoid those things, do, because they're a pain in the ass. And I don't think they're really worth the effort to kill them. Yeah, it seems to have wandered off, so I'm gonna try to get past it. And this is what the key opened. It's a, um, it's basically a treasure room. It's a fire immunity charm. That's plate armor. Um, what else is there before I decide on keeping it? And you can only take one of these. If you take one and then try to take another, uh, what happens is cages close over all of the other items. So you can only have one at a time. There's a mace there, a warhammer there, and another ring of clairvoyance. Um, and you're, if you're wondering why I'm using the mouse, it's because I don't really have a choice. I'm gonna take the plate armor, and then, yeah, cages lower, and now the missing item must be replaced before you can access the remaining items. So that's just 
the treasure room, but they make sure you can only take one treasure. Um, there's a bloat there I don't really want to deal with, but I don't know that I have a choice in the matter. Run away. And yeah, their attack is actually like a suicide attack. They just blow up into the caustic gas. So it's good to keep that in mind, especially if you don't want to waste resources trying to fight them. Heal up, monkey. There's actually a challenge that some players do to try to make it through the entire game to the bottom floor and then back up. Keeping a monkey friend alive the entire time. I highly doubt I will ever manage to do that. Like, our monkey is pretty tough right now, but he's going to wear out his usefulness pretty quickly. At which point he's mostly just a, um, I don't know, meat shield, I guess. That was a totem. Um, basically, it's a. I don't know, I don't want to read, I want to apply. The control scheme in this game is actually pretty streamlined, which I like. I think I. That's a potion of strength. So, I'll drink the other one. Because strength determines your ability to use weapons and such, as you would expect. Uh, I don't have more than one of any of the others. Yeah, darkness potion. I can't really wait a hundred turns to heal though because I don't have any food, do I? Nope. So I'm just gonna try random potions. Okay, well, I'm levitating now, that's good. Not particularly handy, but could be. Okay, that was probably a bad idea. Uh, that was a scroll of aggravate monsters. Which means everything now knows that we are here and it does not want us to be here. Is that lava? Yes, that's lava. If you're wondering why I'm using the mouse to look at things, though, I don't... No, don't do that. I don't know of, like, a keyboard command to look. I checked when I was testing the recording to see if this game would even play, and I just have no idea. What the fuck was that? Good, one of these, so I can heal up a bit. Oh, that B there, that's one of those things that blows up into a hole. Luckily I'm levitating, so I can get the fuck out of the hole before... Oh, I think my monkey fell in. Yeah, my monkey's in the hole, I think. But I managed to get out of the hole before it... before my levitation wore off. Oh, no, my monkey flies. I guess the potion works on him too? That's weird. I'm not gonna complain about it, but it's kinda weird. Yes, I know, I feel weak. I need food. Feed me, please. So yeah, this is a neat little lava sea. I don't remember seeing lava this early in the dungeon normally, but, you know, my memory's terrible, so what do I know? It's not like I play, I've been playing this game for, you know, a month or two between recordings. Yes, food! No, use a quick... forgot about that. Apply to eat. <sighs> okay, um, I'm feeling much better about this now. So, what's up here? Dead fungus, probably because it's trying to grow next to lava. I don't imagine that's a particularly friendly environment. Hey, 
Hey, a monkey. Come back, monkey. Actually, I could probably just throw darts at you. No, I don't want to throw that. I want to throw darts at a monkey. I think it might be out of range. Oh, no, I just don't have a clear line of sight at it. That's why. What? Oh, there's a door here. That is one problem that I kind of have with this game, is that even though it's so pretty, sometimes because of all the different colors and stuff, it can be hard to parse what you're looking at. Um, monkey? Oh, okay, he's chasing after that monkey I tried to throw a dart at. I was wondering why my flying monkey was all the way over there. Oh, I think I'll head back over this way. Is there anything else to explore? Doesn't look like it. Gonna... Yeah. Oh, I see a goblin. Do I care about this goblin? Yes, I do. Nope, apparently I don't. Ooh. Yeah, that's a bit of lava. What do I have in my inventory? I'm gonna read this. And I summoned monsters. Wonderful. And I'm dead. Wow. Yeah, I got surrounded. Okay. Yeah, you can see some of my uh, practice games. Film level 3, level 4, level 2, and another one on level 5, but I had a much lower score. I recently reinstalled it, so... This is just, like, a couple of the scores. And now I'm not recording through this. I really like this title screen. Okay, well, that's enough for now. See you next time, guys. Bye!